What is cuneiform? If you've ever heard anything about Mesopotamia, it's probably that they wrote using this funny-looking triangular script, cuneiform. Cuneiform is the writing system developed in Mesopotamia during the 3rd millennium BCE to write the Sumerian language. Over its long history of use, around 3,500 years, it was used to record several different languages, including Sumerian, Akkadian, Ugaritic, and Old Persian. According to the Mesopotamian story Enmerkar and the Lord of Arata, cuneiform writing was created as part of a competition between two cities, Uruk and Arata, so that Enmerkar of Uruk could send a letter to the king of Arata. When the king of Arata was unable to read the letter, writing having only just been invented, Uruk was declared the greater city. Unfortunately, the real story behind the development of cuneiform is far less exciting. It was originally an administrative tool that was used to write things like sales receipts and taxation records. It was only later in history that it was used to write great works of literature, poetry, letters, and even jokes about farting. Something which has never happened since time immemorial. A young woman did not fart in her husband's embrace. The word cuneiform literally means wedge-shaped. And if you look at some cuneiform signs, you can see why. Cuneiform was written by pressing a reed stylus into clay, which created that characteristic triangular wedge. Even when it was inscribed on metal and stone, it was still formed using that wedge shape. In fact, in Enmerkar and the Lord of Arata, the message that I spoke about earlier is described as looking just like nails, and completely unreadable. Cuneiform was both phonetic, meaning that one sign could represent one spoken phoneme or sound, and logographic, meaning that one sign could also represent a whole word. This meant that scribes had the option of writing words phonetically or logographically. Often, they used some combination of the two. For example, this sentence reads, I am Megan, I am Queen. My name, and the Sumerian words for I am, are written phonetically. The Sumerian word for queen, Eresh, is written logographically, with just one sign used to depict the whole word. Most of the people who used cuneiform were professional scribes who trained for years to become skilled in both Sumerian and Akkadian. There were several hundred cuneiform signs that needed to be learned, but we do also know that people who weren't scribes could still read and write using just a small number of signs. For example, a group of traders in Anatolia that's modern Turkey, used just over a hundred cuneiform signs to write letters and keep business records. So it seems as though the kings of Mesopotamia could sometimes read and write, and one king, Ashurbanipal, boasted of his abilities. I learned the craft of the sage Adapa, the secret and hidden lore of the scribal arts. I am able to recognise celestial and terrestrial omens, and can discuss them in an assembly of scholars. I am capable of arguing with expert diviners about the series if the liver is a mirror image of the heavens. I can resolve complex mathematical divisions and multiplications that do not have easy solutions. I have read cunningly written texts in obscure Sumerian and Akkadian that are difficult to interpret. I have carefully examined inscriptions on stone from before the deluge that are sealed, stopped up and confused. While he was probably exaggerating the extent of his literary prowess, tablets signed Ashurbanipal king of Assyria show that he didn't completely make this up. In fact, Ashurbanipal's interest in writing is one of the reasons that we have so many texts from Mesopotamia. He collected a large number of them together in his library at Nineveh, with the aim of possessing copies of every important text in Mesopotamia. There you have it, cuneiform, the world's first writing system.